Good to see Take you. a seat, sweetheart. Take a seat. And I'm so impressed that you're here coming to the platform. I know. I'm so I was excited. going for a run the other day while everybody was drinking in St Kilda, the St Kilda Festival, and I saw the great lady on stage. <laughs> yeah, I was there. Wow. Yeah, it was good. It was a good show. We had, you know, over 500 people come through the door for St Kilda Festival headlining at Memo Hall. So, Tanya, yeah. you're a class act, such a beautiful soul. and. And that's probably one of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard. Um, where did the journey start? Oh, look, it started when I was about five. So a long time ago now, I'm 24. So yeah, yeah long time ago. I, I started an Australian girls choir and I grew out of that quite fast. And um, I just wanted to be a solo artist and started doing singing lessons and then was professionally playing by age 15. So. Tanya, um, our good mate Togsy found an, an amazing um, song on YouTube so called... So stalk me, is that what you're saying? <laughs> I, think he may, I think he does stalk, stalks me too. Chandelier, let's have a look.
holding on for dear life. One look down, one open my eyes. Keep my glass full until morning light. Cause I'm holding on for tonight. Tanya, that's just spectacular. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I, I'm shocked. I, I remember learning the guitar CD, you know, and that's mm -hmm. about the extent of it. But I know about the singing, but when you, did you learn how to use the guitar? I was taught by a man called Charlie Rook. He was in a band called The Sharp in the 80s, um, quite young, but not too many lessons. He, um, he went off and did some other stuff, and, but he used to let me go into his bookshop and he used to um, give me free lessons in his bookshop, which is really cool. You, yeah. uh, you must be a very disciplined young lady <laughs> for such talent, you know, while everyone's out having a great time. Don't it takes, have much of a social life, no. It takes a lot of time and you are very dedicated, which means mum and dad would have been very, very dedicated parents. Uh, yeah, they weren't ever stage parents though, ever. They always just let me do my own thing and they never they never had to push me. I just wanted to do music and I just yeah. love singing and songwriting's been my number one passion. So, Amazing. Yeah. Where, where are they at the moment, mum and dad? Mum and dad, they are probably cruising, watching TV, yeah. having a wine. Where do they live? They live in St Kilda. Yeah. Do they, do they come along and watch the great They Lake? do. They do. They support me, yeah. They mm. support me very much. Um, but none of them play music, so I don't know how they... I don't know where I got my thing. Besides <laughs> music, I mean, that's exciting enough. What, what do you do in your spare time? I write a lot of songs. I do top lining uh, for other artists or anyone needing, you know, lyrics in, in their instrumentals. Um, I rehearse a lot. I, I'm writing constantly to create, you know, my next sound, my next EP, my next uh, song or single. You know, it's just, it's nonstop. Or I'm doing interviews with lovely people like you. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, most uh, girls, they, they do the choir and they mm -hmm. wag and they don't want to do it. But you just have found this talent and you must have been one of the best in the class. Which, which school did you go to? I went to Star of the Sea in um In Brighton? Brighton. Yeah. No way. Yeah, I did. I lived about 30 <laughs> metres from there. There you Close go. It's a small world so we tonight. So we go long back then. Oh, that park. You guys have got that nice park, you know, yep. with that, that yep. big mansion. I used to hide it out in there and have a few UDL cans. <laughs> but that's amazing, Tanya. So you, you're in that park, you're singing and, 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 and you've worked all over Australia. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the journey and the excitement of it all, of being a, a professional singer. Yeah, I mean, these opportunities come up, obviously being a musician and um, working in the entertainment industry and, you know, I've just been lucky enough to work with incredible people and you know, write an EP and um, top line for people and, you know, open shows and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just, it's it's all part of the journey. Oh, Tanya, you're such a beautiful traveling. soul. And you've brought out an EP a few months ago. What's yeah. that called? It's called Sonda. Sonda. I had a good listen to it. It's got some um, some amazing sounds. And uh, that's mm -hmm. on, um, um, I'm a bit older than iTunes. You. What do you call it? Spotify. Spotify. Yes. It's, it's like, on it's iTunes, like the internet. Spotify, Bandcamp camp, and my oh. uh, website as well, tanyageorgemusic.com.au. Oh, okay, so if you've got the website, yeah. but then you get it for free, do you? Or you still pay? Well, you can go through my website and you can pay whatever you feel like. Yeah. It's up to you. And, um, or you can stream it as well. And you said you went to the States to do a course. Where, where yeah. can you see the future for the great lady going with such a talent? I mean, it... Well, I've just finished recording my next EP um, and I've actually gone a really interesting direction with it, but I've recorded every st single instrument you hear in this next EP is my own vocals. So the drums, the bass. Tanya, you're, <laughs> you're beautiful, you're rich and famous. If you're not rich, you can be a multi millionaire <laughs> in the next three years. We'll certainly promote you Thank for you. the next um, uh, 10 years. Thank you very much <laughs> for you coming so much. on Thanks the platform. For me. You're going to be very successful. <laughs> Viewers, thank you very much for watching the platform. I'm Michael Kazelny. Love and best wishes. We'll see you next week. Good night.